but through my very short presentation, you'll be pleased to know very quickly to just give you a bit of um, what's the word? It's a bit statistical, I'm afraid, uh, about Lancashire and Blackpool in particular uh, and internet use. So I'm just going to skip over some of these bits because that's just an introduction slide. So that's just a little bit about me. I work in the public sector for Blackpool Council, working on the Plings project, which is about aggregating positive activities for young people into a database and then sharing them as widely as possible. Uh, I also do freelance web development and I love Twitter, The Apprentice, House Music and Open Data. <laughs> Alright, so that was the icebreaker that we were going to do. <coughs> Right, so I've got these statistics from the uh, Office of National Statistics and I'm afraid they are a little bit dry, but nonetheless quite interesting. So, in Lancashire, nine, 922,000 people have used the internet. Uh, so that could just be they've just used it once, uh, they've used it regularly, whatever. That's 80.4% of respondents to the survey. So that's obviously a massive market of people out there. Of, the, of that, 466,000 were male and 456,000 were female. And the age group 25 to 44 were the most likely to have used the internet. Uh, and the age group 65 plus, as you probably would expect, uh, were the least likely to have used the internet. Probably nothing that surprising there, I wouldn't have thought. So I'm going to move on to some numbers that I've got from Facebook's targeted advertising tool. So basically, if you wanted to pay for a targeted advert on Facebook, you can go on there, you can target it to men between a certain age, uh, women between a certain age, men who are interested in men, men who are interested in women, pretty much whatever you want. Uh, so these are the figures that I found. There are approximately 52,440 Facebook users in Blackpool who, well, who have got their location set to Blackpool. Obviously, that is only approximate. <coughs> I, I know that these two figures here, for male and female, don't add up to that figure at the top. That's Facebook's problem, not mine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's roughly 50-50 of male and female. But as you can see, quite a large amount of these users are under 18, 20,660 under 18 users. Uh, now, Facebook only lets people above the age of 13 use it, but obviously we know that that's probably not the case. Um, so those were just some numbers that I thought you might find interesting because obviously that's a big target market. And now for a couple of things that are already happening in Blackpool, I've just picked out a couple of examples of Twitter accounts from voluntary sector or public sector organisations that already happen in Blackpool. So we've got Antisocial, obviously, who are doing fantastic stuff through CAF. We've got the Hero Project, which is a youth enterprise project, which I believe runs at Unity College. Um, and obviously, they do fantastic work as well. Final Coast YMCA, who do have lots and lots of followers and seem to be doing social networking really, really well. So these are all accounts that I would suggest that you have a look at and just see what they're doing. Uh, and there are a lot more as well. And then Unity College, who are doing amazing stuff. The kind of stuff that they could be promoting is things like when the school was closed, I don't know whether you, any of you have children who go to Unity. Um, the school was closed for the high burst water pipe, and they were letting people know on Twitter, and they were letting people know that the school would be open the following day. And that's just the kind of thing that you could do as, a, as an organisation such as that, that would add value to what, what you're doing. And obviously, as well as those being, these organisations being there for their service users, they're also there as a network for all the other voluntary sector organisations in Blackpool to share information, and really build that kind of community feel kind of thing. Because if you're all sharing each other's content, that makes it a lot more powerful than just all of you doing it in isolation. You see what I mean? And that was kind of all I wanted to say, because Nathan's already done a very good job of saying loads of interesting stuff. Um, so I think we're going to move on to the surgery element. So for those of you who don't know what surgery is, it's an opportunity for you to sit down with a social media surgeon I'm using bunny rubber ears, kind of thing <laughs> going on here. Um, so anybody who's got a little smiley face on their sticker is a social media surgeon. Um, and it's just an opportunity for you to sit down with them one-to-one -one or as a group and actually ask specific <coughs> questions that you might have. So for example, how do you set up a Twitter page? Um, what's a hashtag? Those kind of questions, anything you like. We're not saying we're going to have the answers, but we can certainly try and work out what the answers might be. 
Allah was about it, I think.